Wow, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this. The babbling brook. Of this house, we have multiple features. We have stack stone urn on the side over there behind you, bird bath bubbler in the backyard, another pond in the back with a bog and a stream, and we pay deck and outdoor kitchen and personal. Wow. Wait, wait, there's more. Just all of the damage Isaiah's did down here. Okay, here we are. And I can see it already. There's a beautiful aquascape ecosystem water feature right up in the front yard. And the nice thing about front yard water features is there's nothing for curb pull. Hey, how you doing? I'm the pond guy, Greg. I'm Bill. Hi, Bill. How long have you had a water feature? Almost a decade now, right? Really? What was the idea here behind this that Jay created for you? We entertain a lot. So we wanted to draw people in, but then spread them out. We have a pond in the front, pond in the back. Oh, yeah. This guy is my kind of guy right here. <laughs> oh, and there's your daughter. Bill and Linda? Yep. Nice to meet you too. What do people say that come to your house for the first time? They love it. They love it. The thing that cracks me up the most is before the pandemic, there was a UPS driver and she would tell me when they were doing route assignments, she would push to get this area. So she <laughs> Just so she could come and get a little bit of relaxation in her stressful day. So for people that don't live the aquascape lifestyle, how would you describe that since you not only have a front yard pond but a back, what would you describe for yourselves as a lifestyle? I would describe it as relaxing. You feel noise. more, uh -huh. more part of nature. I think you see my little computer sitting on the cafe. Oh yeah, so this is working from home with the pandemic, right? So, you know, Sit out here and then you get that as a sound and looking at your fish. Aren't the fish interesting? Oh, they're cool. This is beautiful, Jay. So you built this almost a decade ago, huh? Yes, and we still care for the home. Michael does the pond maintenance, does a wonderful job. But this house, we have multiple features. We have a stack stone urn on the side over there behind you. We have a bird bath bubbler in the backyard. We have another pond in the back with a bog and a stream. And we pay deck and outdoor kitchen and personal. Wow, walls. so you guys are lifestyle people. Yeah, we like to entertain. I love the Japanese maple. It just really frames that terrifically. Very cool native button bush. Incredible native. Okay, not familiar with that. Yep. Cool. Something for every season, bird, butterflies, pollinators. Yep. This maple my dad grew from a little seed. Really? So how old is it? Gosh, he was here before you, right, Jay? Yeah. So, Probably 20 some years. Wow. Love the hydrangeas. I love the paths. And so what you do is you create a lot of mystery, right? So when we walk back here, we can't see everything. We got to go and do around turns and then here's a turn and all of a sudden. Don't take it all in at once. Yes. So which one went in first? This one or the front yard one? Went in together. They went in together, same time. Well, this is a lush garden. That's what I would call this. Love the bridges. Okay, and so this is one of the misperceptions about people with ponds is, hey, why not have both? You got a pool, you got a pond. You can definitely tell this is an entertaining house just from all the little seating areas and vignettes, hot tub. And this is how we describe the Aquascape lifestyle. It's not just the water feature, it's the entire incorporation of everything. And so you did a lot of the landscaping here as well? Everything. Right? Cut out the patios with the blue stone, with the bricks. Yeah, let's walk back there. I see more fountains and stuff, so look at this. What a cool pad. That's a unique feature. So that just had an aqua basin there. So just recirculating pump, aqua basin. But once again, back here you get the sound where we wouldn't have been able to hear the waterfall from all the way up there where everybody's hanging out. So the nice sound. I love this bar area. Man, you can definitely tell. We got their horseshoe pit back here. Yeah, like I said, my kind of people. So we have aqua blocks, snorkel, centipedes, upflow biological filter through the wetland, just a natural with all of the aquatic plants in there, comes down, we've got sedums and creeping jenny all on the side to soften up the edges. Some really 
full lilies and you can tell they can even be divided. When they start to pop up like this, it means they can actually get divided. But some beautiful blooms in there. We have some just goldfish, what do you got? They're koi in here, goldfish out front. Okay, so this is the koi pond, goldfish pond up front. And then that's your kitchen windows. I bet you every day you look out and see what's going on with the pond and the fish, right? The master bedroom is up there. So you can hear the water and then Nicely yep, you can leave the window open and then you can hear that. And then that's the view from up here, looking right out and seeing this. What a cool backyard. So you've been retired for six weeks now, Bill? Yeah. Linda, is he, is he driving you crazy? Oh yeah, this <laughs> pandemic helped a little bit. It got me used to him being home for three months. Yeah. Uh -huh. I worked all the home time. for three months. Yeah. 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 Was very so we unusual. got a little taste. So Jay did all of the design and everything else sure back did. here. Yeah. And even the, I don't know what you call that. Pergola. Stacked oh, I haven't seen that. There's still one more. Wait, wait, there's more. <laughs> position that so we can see it from inside the house. No one ever went over there, but now there's a reason yeah. to go over there. And I bet you the birds love it too. They do. Oh, yeah. Let's go see that last one on the side then. Outdoor kitchen, pretty nice. Oh, wow, yeah, a big stack slate urn. Look at that. So literally this was dead space. So aqua blocks underneath here, pump, plumbing, just goes up and recirculates and now you got a stack slate urn to draw attention to what otherwise would not be an interesting zone. And you get that nice sound again. All right, congratulations on your retirement. Now you can live the aquascape lifestyle 365 days a year, right? Exactly. <laughs> Good for you. And here's that view from inside. Absolutely. Now you actually have a reason to sit in here and look outside. Gorgeous. Wait, well, sit here in the winter time. Got the fireplace on, morning paper. And you're gonna be doing a lot more of that now. You won't be traveling. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you for the tour. Lots of downed trees. We're with Nick and Anthony, they're two brothers. We we're with Trey and we are following the Crazy Jay visiting his beautiful projects out here in Mammoth County, Jersey, right after Tropical Storm Isaias. And it's still a little bit wet, but you know what? We're getting it done. Having fun, Trey? I'm having a blast and it's Monmouth County, by the way. Okay, Monmouth County. Monmouth. Yeah, you talking about Monmouth. So I got a little party going on here. Oh, right on the water too. I love it. How you doing? I'm the pond guy, Greg, and you are? I'm Janie Shilna. Hi, Janie. And so what? Very happy owner of a waterscape that was my husband's 80th birthday present. Wow, good for him. How long ago was that? Two years ago. Two, okay. He's over there checking the generator right now. Okay. Sarah is the matchmaker. Sarah Swider is the matchmaker. Hi, Sarah. She has a bubbler of uh, escape. Okay, nice. Us and we did a pondless waterfall that is viewed as you enter. I can let you look from the door. Yeah, that's right. fine. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this. Okay, it's again, my granddaughter gave us the sign. The babbling brook, and then it kind of just draws your eyes right from the front door out to the lake back there, huh? It's the movement of the water that is so spectacular. And there was a happy bird family that had babies up there. I bet you everybody that opens the front door, there's not a single person that wouldn't yeah, say Sarah something about says it. That's the best view. It really is fun. It's sturdy. Uh huh. You can hear the generator going out in the back, but you know, what's so interesting is people that live on water are water loving people, so they want to bring it up closer to the house. But look at this incredible property right on this water. I love the big trees and just the veranda view. She's got the stone patio out here with the uh, bench. Oh, wow. Look at at this. Listen to that sound. So that's the front door that we were just at right over there. So just a little pondless waterfall. Start with a spillway up there, goes through. Listen to that tranquil sound. And then just recirculates through the aqua blocks and goes up in here. This is probably $20,000 water feature. Separate budgets for the lighting, for the hardscape, the flagstone, the bench, and the landscape, of course, the Four Seasons Garden. All in, this is 50000 plus. All right, so what you have down here for that investment is you have aqua blocks, the pump, the pump vault, the liner, the underlayment, all of the rock work, the spillway bowl up here, the plumbing, and it just recirculates amongst itself. And how's the maintenance been? Just a matter of cleaning. Like leaves, maybe, right? Right? in the fall and get some weeds and stuff. We take care of that. It looks good. See anything in there, Jay? No. Huh? No, you did a great job. Just listen to the different sounds of all of the different drops. Front door, water feature, and the party. This is a landscape design that Jay's plants have been fantastic. 
Now that is a cool fire element. Wow, a globe. So what I love is coming out and visiting new places and just seeing how the whole landscape flows together. And what's so awesome is their friends came over because they had a water feature and they introduced them to their friends. That's how I got my business started. When I was a 20 year old kid, when I came up with this idea, when I was 21, two ponds I built, sold the other two ponds that I built. One pond becomes another pond. So when you start putting them in, the number one reason that people buy water features is they see them, which is why we want ponds done right, customers serve right, because so many water features are high maintenance, they're not built properly, which is the mantra of a certified aquascape contractor. They use the same products, the same philosophies, the same system. They put it in and it's a beautiful, low maintenance ecosystem water feature which works with mother nature, not against her. And that's why we have the Team Aquascape link. I'll put the Team Aquascape link in here so you can see the construction of these water features. But the number one reason that I'm out there showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle is to inspire more people to live the aquascape lifestyle. Look at this paradise. I love my job. Hungry, most of my oh my gosh, so you made us coffee cake. Now listen, you don't get coffee cake when you cut someone's lawn, but when you create a lifestyle for them, they make you coffee cake. Thank you very much, and thanks for letting us come out here. <laughs>